The author have no financial interest in this presentation. Learning sensory and motor examination of strabismus need time and practice. It is difficult and not always possible to teach concept with the real patient. So here we demonstrate sensory and motor examination in an innovative way that will help residents in a clinical practice as well as in their examination. First, how to make prism induced strabismus. This is the orthotropic eye. When the base in prism is placed in front of the right eye with left eye fixing, the retinal image is displaced nasal to the fovea and the right eye moves temporarily. Now, when the subject fixes it with right eye and views through the base in prism, right eye moves temporarily to the image on the fovea. And as per Herring's law, the left eye moves nasally as the image is displaced nasal to the fovea. As a result, the prism produces optically induced isotropia. With this principle, we demonstrate the sensory and motor examination. The first one is the red glass test. Basin prism is placed in front of the right eye to make the eye isotropic and red glass in front of the left eye. We can see an uncrossed image of red light in front of the left eye and white light in front of the right eye that is called homonymous diplopia. Similarly, base out prism is placed in front of the right eye making the eye exotropia. We can see the crossed image of white light in front of the left eye, red light in front of the right eye that is called heteronymous diplopia. Normally we can see a pinkish light when we place red glass in front of the left eye only. When the base of prism is placed in front of the right eye, the image will shift and we will experience diplopia. Here, red light is seen below and slightly away from the white light because of normal retinal correspondence. If a patient has abnormal retinal correspondence, red light is seen just below the white light because of pseudo Phobia, but here we cannot demonstrate. The next one is the Maddox rod test. Red Maddox rod which convert white spot of light into a red streak. When the base in prism is placed in front of the right eye, making the eye isotropia, we can see an uncrossed image. And base out prism is placed in front of the right eye making the eye exotropia, we can see crossed image. To neutralize the image, place the prism in the opposite direction so that they learn how to neutralize the subjective deviation. The next one is the Begulini stride lens test. In Begulini stride glasses, we can see two lines intersect at their center in the form of cross line in the orthotropic eye. To understand suppression, one eye is occluded, we can see a single image. In suppression, only one single image is seen. When wearing Begolini glasses, the base in prism is placed in front of the right eye, the image is shifted to the same side. When we place the base in prism in the both eyes, the images are shifted to the same side and allowing us to clearly see the B pattern. Similarly, Base out prism is placed in front of the right eye, we can see the image shifted to the opposite side. And when the base out prism is placed in both eyes, both images are shifted to the opposite side, we can clearly see a pattern. The next one is the after image test. It is very simple test. The toss light is covered with black tape with a central slit of 2.5 cm in height and 0.5 cm in width and the center of the slit is covered with black tape to protect the fovea. One eye is stimulated with a horizontal slit for 20 seconds followed by another eye with a vertical slit of 20 seconds. Then ask resident open both eyes in a dark room and draw the image. 
the image will stay for 10 seconds. Then make the optical Hindu strabismus by placing the prism where they find the same image because of normal retinal correspondence. Here we are not able to demonstrate the abnormal retinal correspondence. Take home message are this examination is a subjective assessment. Examiner feel the real appearance of examination of strabismus patient. It trains the residents without a specific stimulator. Improvements will certainly allow resident to examine and diagnose strabismus. We can also demonstrate diplopia and chart.